Hello guys, good day to all, and uh, this is Mike Padua. We are back to our latest uh, update on Tropical Depression Aghon. It's now at ATD and it was upgraded by Pagasa as well as yesterday by the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency as the Regional Specialized Meteorological Center for Tropical Cyclones of the United Nations World Meteorological Organization. So this is for today, Friday, May 24, 2024. English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation, one of the best schools in Naga City and the whole Bicol region. And also our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link here or visit the uh, link of the website at the description part of this video if you're watching via Facebook channel okay and also avenue plaza hotel one of the best hotels here in naga city and the Bicol region the local government of naga city headed by our honorable mayor nelson legacion and our honorable congressman of the third district of kamakanisur congressman gabi bordado so let's begin now with the update well the td is uh, starting to reorganize uh, as of yesterday it's cloud free the the, the center is quite disorganized and right now the uh, outer and inner circulation has begun to reorganize as it moves closer uh, towards the uh, coastal waters of uh, northern Carga and uh, eastern Visayas and some of its rain bands are now affecting uh, Visayas and uh, southern Bicol region as well as eastern and uh, central Mindanao and you can clearly see here at our fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. It's clearly, it's clearly reorganizing. And uh, here's the uh, latest from uh, NOAA, the zoom-in uh, satellite animation. And there you go. It looks like a large donut. Okay. A sign that the convection is uh, much, much organized. The system yesterday has passed over moderate wind shear or moderate upper level winds which uh, delayed the, the uh, formation of the system but right now it's becoming more organized as it moves over lower uh, wind shear uh, area okay or lower uh, upper level winds and if we take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation this is now the latest from windy.com you can clearly see here that it is uh, almost uh, uh, fully organized and right now the winds is at 45 kph but the way I see it it could uh, notch up to 55 kph before sundown and look at the those heavy uh, uh, convection with lots of uh, or series of thunderstorms affecting uh, most parts of the Visayas and also some parts of the Bicol region so uh, let's all prepare for the arrival of the system. It is uh, expected to bring heavy to uh, uh, intense rainfall, particularly over eastern Visayas and the Bicol region this weekend. And those living in low-lying areas along riverbanks as well as uh, landslide-prone areas of uh, eastern Visayas and Bicol region. And some of this uh, uh, inner circulation is also bringing some thunderstorms across uh, northern Carriga and uh, here over summer and later provinces, including Tacloban, which experienced a uh, heavy downpour during the past few hours. And uh, let's take a look at the uh, latest uh, oceanic heat content. This is what I'm saying about uh, since yesterday. The system is currently here, okay, and it's starting to move into a warmer pool of oceanic heat content, meaning it could add some energy to the development of this uh, tropical depression. So let's hope and pray that uh, uh, the uh, landmass of uh, summer and Bicol will uh, constrict further development, but if the system moves over the coastal areas, there's a possibility that it will uh, rapidly intensify into uh, a severe tropical storm because the forecast is just a minimal tropical storm since uh, the um, uh, computer models are uh, tracking it across uh, 
uh, the Bicol region and uh, Eastern Visayas. So this is the main factor that I'm worried about because of the uh, extent of this uh, warm oceanic heat content. It happened before during the passage of uh, uh, lots of typhoons including uh, Super Typhoon Haiyan but it's not expected to reach Super Typhoon intensity. If it does it will be over the North Philippine Sea away from our uh, region so uh, let's uh, pray that this will not intensify rapidly just uh, bring uh, a good amounts of rainfall across our region and uh, that will help alleviate the effects of uh, the drought brought about by the uh, uh, weakening El Nino and here's the uh, uh, wind shear uh, uh, product from the uh, University of Wisconsin and as you can see the green one is favorable for tropical cyclone development and Aghon is in the boundary between uh, neutral which is the yellow one that's uh, 35 kph uh, wind shear okay and uh, the favorable uh, green lines so that's uh, low shear that's why the system is slowly organizing for the past uh, six hours since uh, 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 this morning. And here's the uh, steering uh, environment on where the system is likely to go. We have here a weakening uh, high pressure ridge and the storm is right here. And it looks like it's uh, over the uh, extended or the extension of that ridge. And for the next uh, 24 hours, that ridge will slowly weaken for the uh, system to track more towards the north-northwest. So that will be the track since it is uh, moving on the western edge of the high-pressure steering ridge. Okay, and if we take a look at our last track this morning, the system right now is currently here as of 2 p.m. this afternoon. So... Uh, this is our track and it will make landfall over uh, uh, eastern uh, uh, Visayas. If we take a look at the zoom in uh, uh, track, there you go, 2 a.m. tomorrow, it will make landfall near Giwan Eastern Summer or over Giwan and it will traverse the heart of Summer Island passing very close to uh, Katbalogan, west of Brongan and uh, east of Kalbayog exiting over uh, Katarman and once it exits the warm oceanic heat content of the Albay Gulf will again boost some energy into the system that's why it's uh, uh, forecast to become a tropical storm this is just a uh, conservative value because the uh, Japan Meteorological Agency is a severe tropical storm although their track is somewhere here that's uh, close enough still and uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, it will be along the coastal waters of uh, Sorsogon, eastern Sorsogon, passing very close to Bacon Manito. And it will enter Laganoy Gulf during the evening tomorrow. And then uh, around midnight or 2 a.m. on Sunday, it will pass uh, very close to Virak, either making landfall here. It depends on the... Uh, uh, shift of the track either left or right and then it will pass very close in the vicinity of uh, San Andres Catanduanes so at 2 a.m. it is likely to be here uh, along the coastal waters of Caramoan and uh, uh, San Andres Catanduanes so later in the afternoon of Sunday it will be uh, moving into the uh, uh, northwestern or western portion of the uh, Philippine Sea and then around 2 a.m. on Monday it will be to the east of uh, uh, Kasiguran as a severe tropical storm intensifying further as it recurves towards the northeast now take note of the movement it is a there's a possibility that the system will slow down because of the uh, sudden uh, recurvature as it moves into a weak steering environment, the push of the high pressure ridge to the right is not enough to uh, accelerate it. That's why it's slowing down. And this will uh, uh, bring more heavy rains across the Bicol region 
and some gusty winds very no very close to the area of the uh, uh, main circulation and uh, take note of the cone of uncertainty as uh, there will be a uh, for possible uh, uh, shift of the track either to the left like that or to the right and if we are asking how about the European model, the European model is somewhere here based on the la latest as of 2 uh, a.m. and then it will move into San Andres, San Francisco area of Southern Quezon or Bundok Peninsula before moving into uh, the shorelines of uh, Pulillo Island and then it will curve towards this way okay while the American model as of 2 a.m. this morning is showing a flag further here just passing over the coastal waters and then very close to Catanduanes before moving towards the northeast so that's two scenarios and then based on the other computer models this is our track to have an average of where the system will go so we will uh, let you know in the coming uh, uh, we will let you know by tomorrow where will be the new track of the system but take note of this cone of uncertainty because either way this system will uh, greatly affect our area with uh, heavy rainfall and uh, very uh, dangerous especially over the flood phone and uh, landslide phone areas of uh, Bicol region and eastern Visayas including Masbate will also experience this heavy rainfall so please take all necessary precautions, uh, have some advice with your local disaster units and uh, everything will be okay. Just uh, take all necessary precautions during the approach of this system. I'm going to show to you in a while the amount of rainfall that will be, uh, exp that will be uh, poured over this area uh, later on. Okay. Here's the uh, latest from Bagasa as of 11 uh, a.m. from their bulletin number 2. Uh, and uh, more areas of Eastern Visayas has been upgraded with uh, wind signal number 1, the whole of Summer Provinces, and the eastern uh, portions of uh, Leyte, as well as uh, Surigao Provinces, including the Dagat Islands and Siargao. While over the Bicol region, as you can see, not all of the uh, mainland vehicle are under signal number one, but later, later tonight or later this afternoon, more areas will be uh, upgraded with uh, uh, tropical cyclone wind signals. Okay, here's the uh, uh, signals over the vehicle region that includes Sosegon, Albay, the areas like Manito, Ligaspi City, City of Tabaco. Rapurapo, Santo Domingo, Maliliput, Bakakay, Malinao, Tiwi, and also in Catanduanes and Camarines Sur. In Camarines Sur, only the Partido District, that includes Caramuan, Garcia Torena, Presentacion, Sangay, San Jose, Lagunoy, and Tigaon. So these are the areas now under signal number 1 as of 11 a.m. So as of 5 p.m. and 11 p.m., more wind signals will be added into this list of the uh, Pagasa Bulletin okay in other areas and the effects just post this video and you can uh, view uh, the other areas in this uh, video analysis now let's take a look at the rainfall uh, forecast from the European model from the uh, windy.com website so right now until this afternoon we expect uh, rain showers and thunderstorms to occur in most parts of the country uh, particularly here over Bicol region and uh, although it's mostly scattered yet not yet uh, under the uh, main circulation of the storm and also in various sections of Visayas becoming more frequent because uh, this area of eastern Visayas is now within uh, entering the inner circulation of this uh, tropical depression okay and by tomorrow morning once the system uh, uh, moves here over summer, the main circulation, uh, which have have, which uh, which will produce more heavy rainfall, is expected to reach the Bicol region. 
okay and then that will happen through the day of saturday and not only saturday but throughout sunday because the system will slow down here north of big also the southwestern or southern uh, uh, rain bands of this uh, tropical depression will uh, produce more rainfall across uh, the Bico region. So the rains will be expected not only by tomorrow, Saturday, but throughout Sunday. Some will be occasional, but some will be continuous, uh, maybe up to uh, about an hour. And then uh, on Monday, as the system recurves towards uh, the uh, southern islands of Japan, the southwest monsoon will take over, so there will be some occasional rains here over the Bicol region and also across the western sections of uh, Mimaropa and uh, Visayas. And that will be uh, on Monday until uh, probably Tuesday, but mostly it's still dry, only during the afternoon or evening where heavy rainfall due to thunderstorms or local thunderstorms will be expected. Now, if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days, beginning today until Sunday, so we count it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, this is now the total rainfall that could uh, uh, that could be experienced across the Bicol region and eastern Visayas. That's uh, color violet, meaning that the rainfall... That's color uh, violet, meaning that the rainfall will be more than 100 millimeters. And we can see here, one, uh, 290, 300. So this is quite a heavy uh, event, a rain event, brought about by Tropical Depression Aghon. Okay, so please take all necessary precautions because of this uh, possible rainfall that could uh, reach more than 100 millimeters. And usually, uh, if we use the forecast, in reality, it will be more than that. Let's say uh, 100 millimeters, but in reality, it's uh, uh, going to be 200 or 300 millimeters. So please take all necessary precautions. Okay. And as for the waves, here's now the uh, wave heights generated by Tropical Depression Aghon. It looks like it will remain around... Uh, 2.5 to 2.7 meters it's still quite large so it will be dangerous to small sea crafts that's why the OCD of the national government are uh, now uh, has just announced a no sail uh, situation across the uh, ports of Bicol region and uh, eastern Visayas as well as eastern Mindanao and here you go if we move this slider into Saturday uh, wave heights here across the uh, uh, coastal waters or uh, beachfront uh, areas of Biko region will be just uh, around uh, uh, 2 to 3 meters in wave heights. Okay, while storm surge is not yet uh, imminent because the storm is uh, just below typhoon uh, status. But again, even uh, smaller sea crafts must be uh, must take aware on this uh, situation and by Monday the wave heights of 2.5 will uh, lessen here due to the landfall of the tropical uh, depression Aghon but on Monday as the system departs the eastern uh, coastal waters of the Philippine Islands Aghon will rapidly intensify into a severe tropical storm and look at the wave heights. It could reach a high of 5 meters. Okay. So that will be the scenario on Monday until uh, the middle of next week. So there you go. That's the latest for today, May 24. And we will return again tomorrow to give you more updates on tropical depression Aghon. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying good day to all. Stay safe always. Please take all necessary precautions. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.